Hi, I'm Brian Zetti. I'm a senior researcher. Uh, my, my work is being presented at the World Congress of Dermatology on uh, a new rotating cleansing device. And my name is Greg Hillebrand. I'm a principal scientist here at P&G and I've had the pleasure of working with Brian on this project. Uh, this is a breakthrough technology that uh, is really bringing new cleansing efficacy um, to consumers. Uh, Brian, let's look at the, the new uh, sure. device. I want to do a little demonstration here, um, showing how the rotating device is actually superior to uh, manual cleansing uh, using uh, makeup. So Brian's um, developed a test procedure and he can do it in his sleep now. Uh, yes. It starts with uh, applying a um, hydrophobic uh, foundation that's very usually difficult to remove um, and uh, then to use a special cleanser that goes with the device, a little warm water and he's going to just put some warm water on his arm, apply the cleanser and he will show you how one side he's going to use just a normal hand wash and you can see that the makeup is still very much there in comparison to how it was in the first place and I'll do the same thing um, on the other side but with the rotating cleansing device for about the same amount of time. And you can see here the makeup is still there with, with, the, man, with the manual cleansing and most of the makeup has been removed using the rotating device. So the other um, um, aspect about the research that we'll present at the World Congress of Dermatology in Seoul is um, not only the cleansing efficacy of the product, but also uh, its ability to exfoliate and smooth and cause skin smoothing. Um, and uh, Brian has done some really uh, good, good research on on that to show how that the device can uh, improve that. Yeah, exfoliation efficacy. Yeah. In addition to the exfoliation um, efficacy that we've shown, um, research has been done on the removal of anaerobic bacteria from the skin. Um, data is still pending for future studies on that, but it's certainly an interesting route that rotating devices um, um, might be able to do in the future for, for the consumer. Yeah, and that work was done by Jeff Domsack, who is a um, microbiologist uh, in the company. So we had a nice good collaborative interaction yeah. with uh, our micro department on this project. In addition to the microbiological study that was performed, um, a transepidermal water loss study was, was also performed that uh, showed that the tool was not increased when using the um, rotating um, cleansing apparatus versus um, using a cleanser by itself, which we thought was a very interesting um, artifact. Um, one would expect, given the high level of exfoliation that we've demonstrated, um, to increase tool, but in this case it, it did not, and we're still looking at the information. I'm the fortunate guy, I get to go to Seoul and uh, speak to the um, passerbys that are going to look at our poster and uh, present it to them. Um, I've been to Seoul once before, but that was for a 24-hour trip. Actually, I, I arrived on Monday morning and I was gone by Tuesday morning. So this time I actually have some time to spend in Seoul. Um, and South Korea is probably uh, one of the premier countries in the world uh, leading um, the uh, charge in devices. So I'm very excited about the possibility of interacting with other scientists at the meeting who are also interested in devices. Um, and our device certainly will uh, grab the attention of, I hope, the, uh, the meeting uh, participants.